All right, we're going to get started off with a project from the We Create Make It website. So I found a project that I wanted, and then you just click Make It, and it imports it into the We Create software. All right, and what I'm going to load into the We Create Vision is a piece of their UV printed balsa wood, or basswood, UV printed basswood. All this stuff looks really cool, and I thought it would make a neat plane. So why not use it, test it, and see how it looks. And at this point, I'm going to hit the autofocus button, and it will do its autofocus thing. You'll see the laser drop down closer to the material, find its optimal position, and then rest there and wait to start the job. All right, now I'm going to move the plane into the upper right-hand corner of the material so that I'll have room to engrave or cut some other stuff pretty soon. And once I get that set, I'll pick a setting for it. So I'm going to use the wood basswood setting and uh, set that up to cut. So we'll just have a cut line and then we'll cut it out. At this point, we can send the job to the laser. If you hit the send button, it then pops up a screen telling you uh, you can either frame it from there or click the send. And once you send the button, send it, you have to push the button on the front of the laser to start the job. At this point, the job is finished, so I refreshed the view from the camera just to zoom in and check out how close the line is cutting according to where the camera says it is. And we're pretty close. It's off just a little bit, but not going to worry about that at this point. Now we're going to jump back to the We Create Make It and then pick out another airplane, click Make It and bring it into the project. Then we'll update the overlay and get it set where we need it so it doesn't cut out over our other parts. So arrange this one at the top and then I'll send this job. We'll, we'll auto focus first and then send this job and cut it out again. All right, I have to admit it is fun to watch this laser autofocus and watch the whole container move up and down the whole frames and sides. But so far, it looked like it did a good job on that first cut. Once we do the second cut, we'll take another look and see. Now let's refresh the layout and see how it cut this time. So yeah, just a little bit high, but not too bad. Not bad at all. All right, now let's pop, a, pop out the board and see if the cuts stay in place. And they did. So that was a success. And now I wanna show these UV printed boards. They are very cool. They look nice. They have all kinds of different collars and styles and patterns. Yeah, so check those out on We Create's website. This is a sample pack that had just a little bit of everything in there. All right, I like to look at this orange and red for the next project, so let's give it a try and see how it looks after it's cut for the next project. All right, we've refreshed the overlay and I think we want to cut out this pencil holder. It looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of cuts. So we'll cut it and see how it does. And once you import it, you have to refresh the overlay again. Then we can rearrange these pieces to try to create less waste. So we'll just redo those real quick. Move them around just a little bit. 
and they're in place ready to go let's do the autofocus machine will lower achieve the optimal focal distance and then we get ready to send this job once we pick out our settings so I'm going to use the wood bass wood setting and we do have it set online so we will get a cut out of these settings click start press the button on the front of the machine and then we'll be off to the races <laughs> And now that that's finished, we'll take a quick look at the overlay accuracy in relation to the cut. And you can see they are still just a little bit high and a little bit off to the right, but overall pretty close. Now let's check how the cut did and see if all these pieces fell out. So that's the most important part at this point. So back over to the laser. Well, open it up, remove the piece, and hopefully everything falls out. And so far, it was looking good. And it's nice with those blades, allowing all those pieces to fall down into the crumb tray. It really made for easy cleanup. That is something I really did like about this laser. All right, now that we have everything cut out and the little West Virginia sign engraved. It's time to test these planes out and see how they fly. So far, they're looking pretty good. Um, I think they're holding their altitude well. They seem to be flying well in formation. Uh, so, so far, no complaints uh, with the planes. The larger plane was a little more difficult to fly, so it didn't get any air time. But the West Virginia sign turned out really well. That's the line drawing. I have all 50 states in the U.S. available on my website if you want to check that out. I did a terrible job gluing these together, but I just wanted to hurry up and get them done for the video. And most importantly, I wanted to test them out and see how they flew. As you can see, that line engraving turned out really well, nice and deep, detailed. All the pieces cut out perfectly on the pencil holder. So no issues with cutting out those pieces. So yeah, overall, it's doing a really nice job. I've been very impressed with it thus far. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And again, thank you very much, everyone. And most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.